Okay, so what I'm going to show you how to do is make your own Eclipse glasses uh, from car tent. First thing, just to say, there are some safety concerns here, obviously. You want to make sure that the car tent you get has 5% VLT, visual light transmission, okay? Or less, if, uh, if you want to be safer, or more on the safe side. Okay, I've already taken the liberty of cutting this tent up into... Uh, strips. As you can see, I have one thickness of, of the strips as of right now. You can cut them any way you want, but the big deal is to get six layers of these strips. Now the reason why there's six is you need to attenuate the light to a point where it'll be safe for you to look at the sun. Now let's see here. I've got five there. Let me get one more. So I have six pieces. Now I'm going to show you how to make your own set of glasses. I've got a pair right here that I've made as a prototype, just to show you. This is six layers of Black Magic 5% tint. Alright? So the first thing you want to do is take the first set, get yourself a cutting board. You're going to need an, something to cut with. I chose my knife. And some scotch tape. So tape down the first layer on the very ends. Try not to use, try not to take up too much because you you want to have enough to look through here and make it a visor. Okay, and then tape down the other end. So, just like that. All right. So now you have one thick of 5% VLT car tint, car window tint. All right. So the next one you want to actually apply on top of this one. Now let me fix this. It wasn't quite put down straight. You don't want it to have any creases in, or anything in it. So, all right. Get a little bit more bite on it there. And try this again. The only reason I'm wearing gloves is because I don't want to get smudges all over the the tent. It also keeps it clean so that you don't have to clean off each layer, each additional layer here. So as you can see it popped up on the side a little bit so I'm just going to go ahead and fix this end. Once you get it lined up properly you won't have any problems. But you want to make sure that you get the first one lined up properly. There we go. Now, the clear coat is extremely difficult to get to get off the tent. So what I recommend is taking another couple of pieces of scotch tape, putting one on one side, and make sure it's on a corner, putting one on the exact other. Don't let the tape match up exactly, or you won't be able to get it apart and just simply pull them apart. And as you can see, that will pull peel the clear protective layer right off. Now, when you apply this, the next layer here, you want to simply line up the top edge, the top edges, and hold it in the center and just allow it to sit like that. Now, you want to apply pressure, very little pressure on the center and work your way out in a line like that. And that will make sure that you don't have any bubbles in the, or you minimize the amount of bubbles in the visible, in the visual area where you want to see through. And then simply come down and go up in the center and work your way to the outside, like so. Now if you get something like this, don't worry. You can just simply lift it up and place it down again. Work from the center out and you should be able to work any of that out. Don't worry about don't worry about bubbles too much. You can always press them out in the done in the finished complete piece. Now, of course. <laughs> don't worry. I cut that one a little bit too much on the last one, so It'll be all right. You don't have to worry about fringe areas like this. You're going to that's not where you're going to be looking through anyway. <laughs>
All right, I'm gonna apply one more layer so you can see what we're doing. Here we go. Let me get this piece off. Come on. You wanna pull this off to the side when you remove that. And that way everything Reset your tape here. Now we're just going to do the same thing that we did for the first layer. Technically, alright. So I was mistaken, it's four more times, but here's the, uh, here's the third layer overall but the second applied layer line up the top set it there and very easily very lightly make a line across then just simply work your way down very light touch and work your way out now it's important that you don't apply any heat I know a lot of people like to use heat to get the the tent to kind of form fit something but if you do that you're going to compromise the ability of the tent to attenuate light in certain areas it won't be the same thickness so I don't recommend that so I have three more pieces here to apply uh, I think you get the drift here when you get all the way through simply cut along where the tape lines are on each side to get yourself a nice little clean cut like this and there you have it now let me show you let's see if we can actually get this thing to see through the light so here we have a candle flame and that's what it looks like now I've tried this with the sun it works great